Hi everyone, welcome to Cook's Corner. I'm Dawn Hunt from Kuchina Aurora Kitchen Witchery down in Salem, New Hampshire. You know us for our fantastic infused olive oils um, and like quick and easy recipes. So today I'm going to be making for you a really quick, easy recipe from my brand new cookbook. Um, it's a flatbread pizza uh, and I really hope that you like it. It's a little bit more of a, a grown up pizza party kind of situation. That's what I've got going on in the book there. I've got a whole section on grown up pizza party with a couple of really cool ideas uh, to make your next pizza night a little bit more sophisticated, if you will. So we'll start with a store bought pizza crust, okay? Any kind that you like. For me, it's a gluten-free pizza crust. And of course, a generous helping of Cucina Aurora garlic infused olive oil. We're just gonna put a little bit on there and we're going to just uh, spread it around a little bit. Of course, you could use your hands. Just want to make sure that uh, the olive oil gets all over the pizza crust. You want to infuse some of that, that really great garlic flavor there. Now we're going to get a little crazy, okay? There's no sauce and mozzarella cheese on this pizza. Like I said, it's more like a flatbread. So we're going to use some baby arugula, okay, which is nice. It has a little bit of bite. We're just going to spread that on our prepared pizza crust. Now here's where it gets a little crazy. I've got some really great uh, butternut squash chunks that I roasted in the garlic oil uh, a little bit earlier. So this is awesome because it's gonna bring in some nice fall flavors. If you're anything like me, you can't wait for fall to be here. I love things like butternut squash and uh, pumpkins and stuff like that. So I'm, I like having something like this kind of bring in those flavors. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of goat cheese. So again, this is not your typical pizza. We're adding in goat cheese that gives it a nice creaminess, um, a little bit of sweetness. It balances out that arugula, that bite from the arugula really, really well. And as much or as little as you like, okay? And don't be shy. If you like a lot of cheese, by all means, put a lot of cheese on there. And then we're gonna top it off with some dried cranberries. Again, not what you expect from a pizza-y pizza, but this is not your ordinary pizza. This is something you could make for brunch, a great snack. It also reheats really well. Um, so I made this for the photo shoot for the book and I brought home the leftovers and I had it the next day and it was delightful. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 425 and then we'll be ready to eat.